Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about when are you ready to get hired as a developer? All right, let's get started. Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again one more time. All right, guys, so let's get started. Let's talk about this whole topic. This is something that people keep asking me all the time. They always tell me the same question in different ways. Okay, it could be one sentence, it could be one line, it could be a whole essay, but they're asking the same thing. Joe, when am I ready? When am I gonna be able to get hired? Okay, so <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do that with that voice. I, I don't know why, but it's just funny to me. I, I always hear it uh, when people ask me the same question. I'm always thinking it's in that voice of tone. Okay, so <laughs> so anyways, man, let's break it down. So people always asking the same question. And they're wondering when is it that they're going to be able to start working, right? And I'm going to tell you why a lot of people, they focus on this question. And it's because they follow along with tutorials, they follow along with YouTube videos, they follow along with courses. And then once they do that, they do this like as if it was Netflix. Everybody's trying to catch them all. This is not Pokemon, guys. Everybody's trying to catch all of the technologies, all of the skills at once. And they're just trying to go right through everything like as if it was a matter of time and, and it's not right you're not trying to beat everything and trying to learn everything at once so people do this and then what happens then they realize i can't build anything myself am i even ready to get hired Ooh, imposter syndrome they're gonna find out i don't know how to build anything yeah i did a whole bunch of tutorials yeah i have a nice portfolio quote unquote because most of my portfolio is full of courses that I created and I just follow along with somebody. So am I really ready? I mean, I haven't built anything, so am I ready to get hired? You know, that's the question that people always ask themselves because they've been just following along tutorials and they stuck in tutorial heaven, okay? Tutorial heaven, what exactly is that? Uh, basically, it's just you following along and you're just like, la, 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 la doing all of the little courses, doing all of the little projects, and then in reality, you don't know how to build anything yourself. So now you're asking yourself, can I even get hired, right? That's the biggest question that you can ask yourself. But there's a better question that you can even ask yourself than that is, am I an asset or am I going to be a burden to the team, okay? If you can answer that and say, yes, I'm an asset. Yes, I can come in and build any website that you tell me. Hey, you give me a design, you give me the fonts, you give me the assets, right? The images, uh, I don't know, SVGs, whatever it is, and I can build it for you. If you can do that and you can say confidently, I can do that, there's a team out there for you, right? There's a team out there that needs you, that's gonna be like, yo, this guy, we need him here because there's gonna be developers that have been here in the industry for like 10 years, senior developers who are working on simple things and they're like, I need an extra hand. I shouldn't be working on the static page. I shouldn't be doing the little descriptions and changing the SEO and the ALT tags and doing all this stuff for the marketing team when we could hire somebody who just started, a junior developer, to help out with those things. And that's when you come in and you shine. Okay, there's a lot of opportunities out there. There's a lot of jobs out there for like content editor, product manager, right? Things that people constantly throw away. They're like, well, it doesn't say front end developer. It doesn't say back end developer. It's not Google. It's not uh, freaking Amazon. It's not this, this, and that. Who cares what company it is? You're getting paid, right? You're getting the skills that you need, right? So you should be going out there and applying to those jobs. So when you're asking yourself, am I ready? That's it. You just got to ask yourself, am I an asset to the team or am I going to be a burden? So how do you become a burden? Very simple. If you somehow swindle yourself into a company and you know them well, you cannot do the projects, you cannot do the work, that's when you are a burden. Okay? Some guys might say, well, you know, I just want to get hired. I just want to get in. Okay? I just want to get in there. And sometimes the recruiters will lie for you. Sometimes the recruiters will hype you up in, in front of the company and be like, well, this guy, this guy's been doing this since 2014. Mind you, you just started two months ago, right? <laughs> recruiters will do that. Recruiters will go in there and be like, hey, this guy's, this guy's an OG. I've seen situations where recruiters change people's resumes 
they've changed the people resumes and showed it to the companies and say, hey, this guy is ready for prime time. Mind you, the guy can barely do HTML, right? He can barely know the structure of HTML and he don't even know how to set up some, some classes. Like, I've seen situations like that, right? In a situation like that, you're a burden, okay? It is what it is, right? I see this a lot of times with guys that just graduated from college, and I'm sorry, I know some people is going to hate me, we're like, well, you're a self-taught guy, that's why you're over here, and you're blaming the guys that actually know how to code because they got a degree and think this is not, right? I know some guys going to be killing me right now, but I've seen this so many times where guys that straight out of college, right, they go to their classes, they get their little A's, you know, they thought that, hey, all I had to do was just learn a couple of algorithms, and somehow they get into companies, but then they don't know how to build anything because they never built anything on their own time. Guys, when you are a developer, this is a, like a lifelong journey. This is like a, a lifestyle. This is not even something that you do as a job. This is like a lifestyle, literally. So even though you're going to college, you need to start doing projects. You need to start working on whatever it is that you want to get into. If you're planning on getting a job as a game developer, I better see at least five games by the time you graduate from college, right? If you are looking to get into web development, you better have at least five websites because that's what you're doing, right? That's what you're going to school for, right? You need to come out with experience. You shouldn't be thinking like, well, I'll get experience once I start working. Those days are over. You can't just show up with a resume and say, hire me, and that's it. Okay, and sometimes people swindle themselves in. Maybe they have gone to the right school, maybe they have the right GPA, maybe they have the right hookups. Maybe the guy who interviewed him was from his hometown, and, and that happens all the time, right? And then somehow they're working at a company, but they don't know how to build anything. So, what happens now to that team? Now they got to pick up the slack for somebody that doesn't even know how to code, right? That cannot be an asset to the team. We got to train them for the next three to four months, okay? It's like going to school again, but the dude is getting paid for it, okay? So you're not an asset to the team, okay? Always ask yourself that. Am I an asset to the team or am I going to be a burden, all right? And that's how you know when you should start applying. If you're able to do things on your own, you're able to be independent, right? And you know how to do certain things. Like I'm not talking about to be a master because you're still going to have to ask questions. You're still going to have to uh, look at documentation, look at certain things. But the thing is, don't go to a job and say, hey, man, you know, I I'm an expert Node.js developer. And all you did was like Coast Steel's Yelp camp. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna do another video about this, the Yelp camp, right after this video. This is gonna be hilarious. So make sure you stay tuned and watch that. But yeah, man, like I said, just because you did a little Yelp camp or a little something like that doesn't mean that you know no JS. Okay, so don't go out there and say you know something when in reality you don't know it. Okay, you need to actually practice it and you need to actually be able to build it yourself. Because when you're at a job, that's what it really counts. Right? You're going to be going in there and they're going to give you a task and they're going to say, hey man, go to this uh, section of the website, create, uh, I don't know, this page, connect to this API, da da da, make sure that you're connecting to the uh, database. If you don't know how to do that and now you're like Googling and, and doing YouTube and showing up on Stack Overflow, you are a burden to the team. Okay? And like I said, sometimes there's going to be opportunities where people get hired no matter what and it is what it is. And maybe you should just apply to every job that's out there, right? And maybe you should just apply because up to the company to actually do their research on you and figure out if you actually can be an asset to the team. If not, and they just let you in, well, that's their fault. You're getting paid no matter what, so that's on them. But <laughs> once again, just apply. I would say just apply, but always ask yourself, am I going to be an asset or am I going to be a burden to the team? Can I actually do this or... Was I just the guy that was just watching tutorials back and forth and not really knowing anything, okay? So if you are that guy, you need to slow down and just go section by section. Go in, get comfortable with HTML. Then go in, get comfortable with CSS. Then go in, get comfortable with JavaScript, right? That's it. At least those three things, you got to check it off. Just be comfortable with it. We're not talking about mastering it. We're talking about being comfortable with it and understanding what web development is, okay? 
don't try to scheme it. Don't try to take no shortcuts. Don't think just because you follow a tutorial, you follow a course, it doesn't mean that you know what to do. You actually need to put it to practice and create projects to see if you actually know what to do. And that's when you're going to get hired, all right? If you can do that, you're good to go, kiddo, all right? So anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again. Guys, if you're looking to learn how to code and you're looking to learn real projects that's going to help you out, and give you that opportunity and that experience because you're actually building real projects and not little to-do apps, then go check out CodingFace.com. I mean, that's what I do, right? I'm a self-taught developer. I know exactly what you guys need. I know exactly what companies need from you. And that's what I teach you on CodingFace.com. Start today with $5, okay? It's a limited time only. It's only going to be here until October 31st. 